It is a beautiful morning. It's Monday, and we are about ready to start another work week. Woke up this morning, it's about 32 degrees. However, it's supposed to get up into big numbers today. Probably somewhere around 57, 58. Might even push 60. Tomorrow, it's supposed to be a little bit warmer. So, here's hoping that spring is finally here, and uh, let's get to it. turning out to be a gorgeous day. <laughs> 65 degrees already at noon. We'll take that. I'm just so happy that spring is finally here. Probably wasn't my last video, the video before, we talked about getting some uh, new flags ordered and uh, they finally did come in with our logo on them, the right logo. And I'm actually impressed and quite amazed that it was only last Monday that we sent the old flags back and had to rush order these new ones and they showed up via courier today. So I guess when you need things done, they get done. So thank you to Wheels Automotive uh, for getting the lead out and making that happen. And having said that, that means we will be ready for the trade show happening uh, not this coming weekend, but next weekend. So we will give you uh, some inside scoop on that. The other thing that I want to share with you is the Granite Town uh, car show is coming up in uh, July. And uh, we'll be taking my car. I don't think Dad will be taking his because it likely won't be ready by then, but nevertheless, uh, we'll do a big tour of the car show on the grounds there in St. George, which is only about 20-25 uh, minutes away. So uh, we'll keep you updated on that. It is another wonderful day. My soul, it's supposed to be at least another 6 to 7 degrees warmer than it was yesterday, so I'm predicting somewhere around 65 or 66 degrees. And uh, the wind is hardly even blowing our flags around here today, so it's, uh, it should be a pretty nice day. People in their garbage. Just throw it out the window all willy-nilly. Just make sure there's no more. I think we'll get our sign changed today. We'll get something up there that's spring related. Like, don't sink in the mud. Or, watch out for the mosquitoes. You know, something along those lines. And this is uh, one of our purchases from the weekend. This is 2014 Nissan Rogue. Nice looking vehicle. And it's uh, fairly clean inside as well. And if you recall, uh, a couple weeks ago, we sold a Kia Rio and the Hyundai Sonata. The, the Kia Rio was picked up on Friday and went to Nova Scotia, yet here the 15 Sonata still sits. Now I assume it's just waiting for transport to come pick it up and take it to Quebec, um, but I haven't even heard from the people who bought it yet. So Snow is gone and the ground has dried up enough that I think we can probably yank this sucker out. I take it it didn't come out on its own, Tim. <laughs> She sunk in there pretty good. <laughs> well, this is where the batteries are, so we had to boost it. Well, there's your problem. All the studs are gone. So I got parked out here and just kind of forgotten about for a while, so we are going to uh, try and yank her out. 
and uh, I guess Tim thinks he's going to do it by himself. He hasn't asked for help yet anyway. I can get in it, steer it, Tim. Sure. Let her rip. There we go. So this car only has 122,000 kilometers on it. We'll get her into the shop, get her fixed up, and put her for sale. She'll be a cheap one for sure. Sometimes a trade-in just isn't worth much. And there goes a casualty of that. Well, things have been a little bit of a buzz here today. Bill sold the little accent. So I'm guessing that next week the Dodge store across the road is going to be having a big off-site sale here in town somewhere. And the reason why I say that is they ain't got to use car hardly on the lot. So that generally means good business for us because when they do an off-site sale, it seems to drum business up for us and probably some of the other dealers around town as well. And all they're doing is moving their cars to an off-site location, claiming it to be a sale. Um, whether it is or it isn't, I don't know. And this is where they have it, is at this location right here. And like I said, whether it is or it isn't a sale or not, it's the hype that makes people perceive just because it's at a different location that it must be big, it must be a sale, a savings or something. Um, and in turn, all they end up doing is getting involved with some high pressure salespeople who can start selling some cars for them. We're not into the high pressure by no means. Uh, but it does tend to drive customers towards us as well. Uh, they don't see what they like down there or they get turned off to the uh, high pressure and uh, they start shopping elsewhere. So, you know, uh, when customers get in the mood to buy, well, we're in the, we're in the mood to sell. So another thing I want to share with you today is I did manage to stumble on a local fairly local um, YouTube auto vlogger out of Fredericton, New Brunswick. Now Fredericton isn't that far away, it's only about an hour and 15 minute drive north and uh, they do a lot of the same things that uh, you know Street Speed 717 does and uh, you know basically drive around revving their engines. Nevertheless it's a pretty good channel I've watched a few of their videos so far and I really like what I see so I did subscribe I will put their information in the link below so you can check them out and subscribe and the name of their channel is Piston Junkies 302 302 means yes unfortunately he's driving a Ford just kidding guys it is a good channel you should check it out so uh, I'll put their link uh, below like I said well hello there guys it's Wednesday morning and we're off to work and uh, I had a couple of ideas that I wanted to run by you the more YouTube that I watch and the more auto vlogs that I follow the more I find ideas on how I'd like to do my channel and one of the big things that I don't have with mine is a great intro so in the comments section below if you could tell me what you'd like to see in an intro in relation to an auto vlog, whether it be something to do with my dealership, something to do with um, cars, fast cars, burnouts, um, engine revs, whatever you think that you'd like to see, let me know and uh, we'll see if we can put something together as an intro to each of my videos. So Junior's got half a day of school today and he's going to come out to the shop and uh, work away get some vehicles cleaned up. So having said that, I told him that I'd buy him some lunch. So he's supposed to meet me here at Kentucky Fried Chicken. I can't imagine him not showing up for uh, free lunch. I want to see you pull out in your V6 Hemi. What a wussy. 
But what am I talking about? This thing won't spin either. <laughs> oh, Alex. <laughs> We're going to head down to Motor Vehicle. I sold a vehicle for junk to the junk dealer, so I gotta get it put into his name so that we can get rid of it and get paid for it. So wish me luck. So my wait was only about 20 minutes, only. Uh, and that was simply because the um, their computers went down. So I have to go back tomorrow. Well, somebody has been sporting around Somebody has been sporting around here with a what looks like a new Camaro and a uh, V8 Camaro with that because it sounds really good when it goes by. Um, must be something wrong with it though. It sounds like it might be stuck in like second gear or something. Guys, that is it for this video. I really appreciate you guys subscribing to the channel and getting us up over that uh, 100 subscriber mark. The next goal is a thousand, and uh, you never know. Maybe we can get this channel monetized. But uh, nevertheless. Keep watching, share it with your friends, give us a big thumbs up, and don't forget to comment in the section below. Take care, and we will see you in the next upload.